I'm still going to draw an elephant. Yeah, you need something to draw with for this lesson. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and stuff to go with. Yeah, let's start. Okay. We're first going to draw a big circle for our our elephant's head. We're going to start up here, and we want we want to move it towards the top of our paper. We're going to draw it up here so that we have room for the body below. So we'll start here, and we're going to draw a big circle. We don't want to draw it too big because we also need room for his ears or her ears. But you also want to draw it good size so that uh, it looks like an elephant. Yeah. Elephants have big, big heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Let's draw the ears next. We're going to start here on the side of the circle and we're going to draw a curve that comes out and up. And I'm going to do that same curve over here on the right side. Then let's draw the bottom of the ears. We'll start out here on the end and we're going to draw a big curve that comes down and then connects back into the head. We want to make sure that we draw big ears, right? Elephants have big ears. Huge uh, ears. Huge ears, yeah. So we'll draw the same thing on the right side. Then we can draw an extra line for the inside of the ear or the, the top of the ear and we'll do the same thing on the right. Oh, it's starting to look like, uh, well, maybe not yet. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now let's draw the trunk. That'll make it look like an elephant. We're going to draw two lines coming down. So we'll draw one on the left and then we're going to draw another one right next to it. These lines, because they're going right next to each other, are called parallel lines. Then down here at the bottom, we're going to connect those two together. Good. We could also give our elephant tusks. Those are little horns that stick out. Yeah. Now we're going to draw a curve that comes down on each side. Then we're going to start at the bottom. Yeah. And we want those to come down to the same length. Then we're going to come down to the bottom and we're going to curve back up and connect back into the head on both sides. Our elephant is missing eyes. Let's draw two circles. I'm going to draw one over here on the left and one over here on the right. And we can also color these circles in. I'm adding eyelashes, but you could leave off the eyelashes. And if we ever go too fast, or if we fast forward the video, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. We could also add little wrinkles up here on the forehead of our elephant, because uh, elephants are a bit wrinkly too. Yeah. <laughs> we could also add little wrinkles on the trunk. Yeah. Now let's draw the legs. So we're going to draw, we'll first start right here underneath the trunk and we're going to draw two lines coming out. I know that looks a little funny, yeah. but we're drawing the front of our elephant. So this will be the legs. Then we're going to start over here on the outside, on the head, and we're going to come down like this to the same length as these little ones down here. So we want to match down at the bottom. Now let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. We'll come down and stop right in line with all of the lines. So they're lined up. Then we're going to draw little curves at the bottom. We're going to connect the outside to the inside line and the same over here. There's the two legs. Yeah. Oh, let's also draw the toes. I'm going to draw two upside down U shapes. You could also... Well, Let's draw three, just for fun. Two, three. That's more fun. Three is more fun than two. Yeah. And we can do the same thing on this one. You're waiting for me. <laughs> There's the toes. All right, let's also add a line right in between the two legs. It looks like it's standing up. Yeah, it does, it's standing <laughs> up. But let's, let's actually draw it sitting down. We'll draw our elephant sitting down. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw the back legs bent and coming down. So we're going to draw a curve that comes out like that. And we could do the same thing over here. And we're actually, let's continue that down. And we can continue it down over here on this side too. 
And these come down and line up with the feet, the front feet. Okay, now let's curve back in to finish the bottom of the back legs or the back feet. <laughs> now let's add toes. Let's add three toes also on each of the back legs. And we can also draw the body. We'll start up here, we'll draw a curve that comes down and connects to the knees. And the same thing over here on this side. And we could also add a tail, but let's leave it just like this because maybe the tail is really small and you can't see it because it's behind the big body. Yeah. What do we still need to do to our drawings? Color it. This is my favorite part. We're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. I said give me five. I love how your elephant turned out all colored in. I like yours too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, markers. I also use colored pencils for highlights and also rosy cheeks, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. We also added extra wrinkles for yeah. the knees on both the front and the back legs. Yeah. What else could our art friends add to their drawing? A background. Oh, a background would make your drawing look even cooler. And then you could add like little elephants. Oh yeah, baby elephants, or maybe this is the baby elephant. You yeah. could add the mama elephant. Mm -hmm. That would be huge. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your elephant. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours, because both of our drawings look different, and they both turned out awesome. Yes. I especially love your drawing. Yes, I really I do. I especially love your drawing. Oh. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun. And to practice. Yes, remember to practice, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.